Hi, I'm Lulra and today I'm going to give you some simple but important tips about how best to record your music using one of these, your smartphone. A modern phone will do everything you need, providing crisp images and good audio. But you might want to add some extras, like a small tripod to keep the shot steady, and then you could improve things even further by using an external microphone and a light. Let's leave the technology to one side, because there are several things you'll need to get right before you start to film. It's about music, right? So make sure you pick a location where you're not going to pick up traffic noise. Or the family pet. Or the TV. Or the family pet. Okay, you get the message. No unwanted sounds. Pick a nice quiet room. Preferably one with plenty of natural light. And that's what we're on to next. Where was I? Oh yes, a few simple rules. Don't film in poor light and avoid indoor lighting if you can. Never film yourself with the window behind you. Instead, use that lovely outdoor light to give you a natural and well-lit look. Having picked your room and maximising the best light available, it's time to add the finishing touches to dress your set. Pick some items to add a little texture to your shot. Maybe add something that would provide a musical flourish. But don't put anything personal or distracting in. Okay, you've practiced your tunes, now it's time for the recording. Give the lens of your phone a quick wipe and you're good to go. Then set it up at eye level, remembering to always film with the phone in landscape and not in portrait mode. If you have a stand like the one on this inexpensive Gorillapod, then use that. But if not, just bridge the phone between some books, support it front and back, making sure you don't block the lens. Once the phone is set up, position yourself and your instrument in the centre of the screen. Don't frame yourself right at the edge or too far down in the frame. Just comfortably within the screen and you're good to go. And before you hit that record button, just a couple of final things to check. Some phones allow you to set the focus, so make sure that's on you. Don't use the digital zoom. The picture quality is generally poorer when you zoom in. So if you need to frame the shot correctly, move closer to the camera or the camera closer to you. Of course, if you have someone holding the phone for you, most of these points are still relevant. Just avoid camera shake or drifting off frame. <clears throat> Thank you. So, press record, take a pause, and then start playing. And pause again at the end. So to recap, pick a quiet room away from outside noises. Use natural light and face towards the window and not with your back to it. Record with the phone in landscape mode and not in portrait. Practice your tune, then record and finally review the whole clip. And add some technology if you can. It will improve the sound, lighting and overall quality of your production. Having reviewed your recording, if you're happy with it, you're ready to share it via platforms such as WhatsApp, Dropbox, Google Drive, or other file share apps. Best of luck and happy recording. Mm -hmm.